Welcome to Final Fantasy Remake. With the release of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth coming out very soon, now is more perfect than ever to do another quick playthrough of the remake. This time of course with a few mods. So today we have a quick and easy guide on how to install mods for FF7 Remake so that you can enjoy your own fully customized playthrough. With that being said, let's get started. The first thing we'll do is head over to Steam. We're going to need to find our game folder. So if you select Final Fantasy VII Remake, right click it, go down to Manage, and then up to Browse Local Files. You should get a file explorer window that allows you to see your FF7 Remake.exe. This is how you know you've made it to your game folder. From here, we'll go into the End folder, into Content, and then finally into Packs. Here we're gonna need to create a folder. So if you right click on an empty space, go down to New, and then Folder. We're gonna need to name our folder exactly as shown. So tell the key mods. If you don't know how to do the tilde key, I'll leave it down in the comments so you can just copy and paste. Now we just need to go to Nexus Mods and find a few mods to download. Now you will need an account, but it's free to sign up and free to download the mods. So once you're set up with that, we're gonna go into the Files tab. And if you scroll down a bit, you'll see that we have multiple mods. So we have a couple different versions for the Cloud Lightsaber, and then you can even give Sephiroth a lightsaber as well. Whatever mods you want, you just need to click the Manual Download. You'll have a mini pop-up but then you should also see a download complete once it's done. Now, if you navigate to your downloads folder in your Windows Explorer, you should see your freshly downloaded mod. If you're unfamiliar with the program WinWar, this is what we're using to extract these files. So if you need some help with that, I'll leave my full guide down below in the description. So feel free to check that out. So with our mod, we're simply going to extract this. And inside of the lightsaber folder, you should see the lightsaber.pack file. We simply need to take this and place it inside of our mod folder. So if you click inside of it, you'll see that we have our fresh pack file installed. Now you just need to browse Nexus Mods for a bit to find some more mods that you want to install. And then once done, all you need to do is hit that play button. And of course, enjoy. If you want to see even more modding guides like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time though, we'll see ya.